Try, Adapt, Learn. In this video, we're going to replace an ammeter with a voltmeter. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe now for more videos including DIY, maintenance, projects, and yard work. It is important to know that this should not be considered a how-to or a guide. Instead, this video is documenting what occurred this time with the tractor project. As seen with the first diagram, this is how the tractor was wired as purchased and at the start of this project. The same consideration should be applied when viewing these wiring diagrams. These diagrams are shared as a snapshot of the electrical setup for this specific project tractor. That being said, I thought the diagrams would be helpful to provide an overall context since a lot of the video will be focused on a few wires at a time. Considering that the engine was able to start recently, documenting the wiring at the start of the project would serve as a good reference point. Although this diagram is a first attempt, it may not be completely accurate, especially with the symbols chosen. It will, however, be able to identify some of the items which need attention. As seen in the second diagram, this is the plan for the installation of the voltmeter. It will not address all the issues related to the electrical wiring, but it will start the process to allow monitoring of voltage on the battery. One thing to keep in mind is the button ignition switch. It seems to be wired in line or in series with the ground of the starter solenoid. This is why reviewing the diagram will also help for later decisions regarding wiring. To begin the process, the negative cable or the ground was disconnected from the battery. Please keep in mind that at this time the tractor had been started for the first time in over a year. I noticed that although the ammeter was likely able to pass current, it was not giving a reading on the gauge. With the batteries disconnected, the wires to the ammeter were then disconnected and the ammeter was then removed. I wanted to replace the ammeter with a voltmeter for a number of reasons. First is that the ammeter has to be installed in series or in line with the circuit. In comparison, the voltmeter can be installed parallel to the circuit. What this means is that the voltmeter doesn't have to have all the current running through it like the ammeter does. With the voltmeter, it will be a lot easier to make modifications to the electrical system. Also, since this has been converted to a 12 volt system and the voltmeter is a common gauge on an instrument panel, people such as myself could easily monitor the charge of the battery. Some of the connections to the wires were then brushed clean. Next, the wires were cut, prepped, and rejoined together. This is definitely not the best way to rejoin these wires, but at this point in the project, the goal is to get this gauge in and ready for a test run. The more I looked and worked on these wires, the more it was likely that I would need to follow the suggestion to start over and rewire everything. The decision to rewire this tractor in the future would also be reinforced by reviewing the diagram shown at the beginning of this video. Once some of the wires were prepped, I removed the wire connected to the metal that would serve as the ground. This connection would be joined by the ground wire from the voltmeter. Next was joining the positive wire of the voltmeter to the key switch. Once the wires were ready, the voltmeter could be installed. No modifications were needed to mount it since the voltmeter was the same diameter as the ammeter. Along with the voltmeter, the wire from the starter solenoid to the starter was replaced at this time. The negative cable or ground was reconnected to the battery. The key was turned to the on position to test the voltmeter. As seen, the voltmeter worked properly. While looking at the voltmeter, I also noticed the indicator light. I added a grommet around the indicator light to help secure it. As I make new videos, I want to share them with you, so subscribe now. Also comment, like, and check out some of the other content on our channel.